player. I said he either goes for something... I feel like he always goes into the extremes. Like either something super risky or super safe. Um, so it's always exciting to watch, but... I don't know, he, he loses a lot of games just because he'll try and just expand on one gate or something silly like that and he gets caught. Um, that, that happened a couple times this season in his PvP games. See, if he was a real man, he would 12 next in PvP. Oh, looks like there's a March 3rd <laughs> Celebrator. That guy remembers. Nice. And Oh, apparently the other finals was the Golem Classic. So it was an MSL and a Golem Classic where they met in the finals. And mm. Bisu took out Jang B both times. There you go. Oh, does that little overlay they have? Oh. The stream too? Yeah. Yeah, 2007, March 3rd. They were mining the world as well. Mm -hmm. That guy, I believe, was giving us a uh, prediction of today's lineups. And so far, Jangbi has scouted cross map, and Bisu has not scouted yet. He just built a pylon behind his natural. It's a little bit of hidden pylon. I don't think he's actually going to hide tech there. Um, probably just gonna yeah, scare Jangbi a little bit if Jangbi gets into his main. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. It's kind of a weird place to put a pylon. Like, no, I don't know. I don't feel like you'd hide tech there. Uh, I'm not sure about this map specifically, because you're correct. It does feel like there's not that much space behind the natural, but, like, we have seen it, like, on Jade. Of course, we see people hide DT tech behind the natural a lot. And, um, I mean, yeah. You can do it, but I actually now that I think about it, I think you're correct. I don't think I've ever seen tech hidden behind the natural on this map in PvP. I don't even know if it's yeah. The thing is, the thing is, this map doesn't lend itself to like DT rushing because there's no ramp, right? It's all flat ground, so like three gate obs is, in my opinion, the best kind of standard default build you can do. But oh, look at this! Jangbi has actually hidden his probe here and has managed to oh, sneak around tight. into the main base, avoiding the dragoon. Very cool. Yep. I guess, uh, I don't know, I'm not sh really sure if he sort of decided to pull that probe out at a, at a certain timing or what he expected, he, uh, he might have been able to see maybe a couple more gateways that would have warned him of uh, some incoming aggression. That's a good point. I feel like he went in a little bit too early there. If he waited like 15 more seconds, he might have seen something useful. I mean, at the very least, he saw Dragoon range. Yeah, but... but hmm. Yeah. Anyway, Robo out for Jangbi. Yep. And both players are just going to chill at their natural. So what is Bisu doing? Um, Bisu is going to go 3-gate goon. Bisu apparently agrees with me that 3-gate goon is a very strong build on this map. By the way, Bisu recently played a PvP on this map against... Uh, I think it was against Wookie, actually, where Wookie did a really interesting build. Bisu just pulled all his guys off gas. That's... Curious, he just put one guy back. Um, he has 236 gas banked. I guess he didn't... I guess Weird. he... He must have just put those on the minerals to get the extra gateways up, and then now he's going to put them back. You do need... Um, basically, in order to keep constant Dragoon production, you need one probe on gas per gateway Dragoon that you're making. So, in order to keep pumping goons out of three gateways, you do need three probes on gas. But if you already have a bank then obviously you can pull guys off for a little bit and then resume mining once you actually start making Dragoons. So it might be a slight optimization there for Bisu. Yeah, I think he I think he did um, put his probes back on gas already, so... Um, I'm not sure what that was about. Now, yeah, Jangmi has gone for Gateway Robo Gateway, and I believe he went for Observers, so Bisu should be able to do a lot of damage here if he has very good uh, Dragoon control. Um, obviously, you know, 3-gate against 2, the numbers work, unless you're Harangi playing against Sun, in which case, y they don't, but, <laughs> um, yeah. This is looking a little bit scary for Jangbi, that Observer's not going to help him at all. Ooh. He does have the Zell to help tank shots, and Bisu takes a lot of damage on that Dragoon without actually even getting a shot off there. Yeah, Jangbi has a nice arc, and he's sort of positioning himself with that pylon, um, sort of cutting up his units too, so... Oh, but he did, did just pull back into his main. I thought he had a nice position there in his natural. And he just has to make if Jang if Jangbi can keep a nice arc on his dragoons, he should be able to hold off, um, and ha we'll have a defensive advantage anyways. 
he is indeed getting a reaver. He's leaving the observer at home to spot exactly where Bisu's goons are going. Looks like he's going to give up that pylon. And Bisu, interestingly enough, taking the back mineral only expansion rather than his natural. I don't really see the point of that, considering that he's kind of got Jangbi pinned back in his own base. Like, why does he actually need to take his mineral only and not his natural? Um, when he could safely, you know, get the better expansion. But, you know, uh, he's Bisu, and I assume that he knows what he's doing. Well, you know, if this doesn't work out, he's certainly not going all in here. So, if this doesn't work out, or Jangbi, you know, holds on and comes with a reaver counterattack or something like that, it'll be much easier to hold. That's true, but like, I would think that if you've got a bunch of dragoons at your opponent's natural and you're keeping him back, you're not planning to lose that attack and have to run away. Although I guess he is going to. So, uh, maybe you're actually 100% correct here. Um, yeah, maybe, I don't know, he could have, um, maybe he was just preparing, he didn't, maybe he didn't expect the Reaver to come out so fast, or some other tech from Jangbi, um, but in the case of a Reaver, he just wanted to put that expansion back there, just, uh, just in case, I don't know. Well, Jangbi is uh, going to take his natural, and so, yeah. even though Bisu's is already my, oh, actually, that's, wow, that's actually a lot faster than Jangbi's, okay, so that's going to be really nice. And the thing is, he can actually use the extra mineral income from that to take his natural relatively quickly as well. Of course, that's the build we saw Wookie use to defeat Bisu originally. Uh, on this map, in fact, was to uh, to take that mineral only first, and then take the natural, and then like just overwhelm Bisu with a bunch of units. Um, so Bisu might be doing some kind of interesting variation on that. Looks like Bisu is setting up an arc facing the north side there, but uh, oh my god, my VOD is buffering! Oh, uh, uh, oh hold on, I'm just going to refresh it again. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. What I don't know why my YouTube stopped. keeps buffering today, that doesn't make any sense. Alright, I'm at 9.52. Shall we go again? Uh, hold on. It doesn't have yep. to be exact. Alright, ready, go. <laughs> yeah, guys, I am terribly sorry. I don't know why YouTube is not being very kind to me today. Um, I don't think I have any torrents going. <laughs> yeah, I made sure to close my YouTube <laughs> beforehand. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Jangbi does scout out this this position by Bisu, and he did just scout Bisu's whole main base as well, so he's, he knows exactly what he's getting into. And here we go, that Reaver is going to be crucial in this attack, he's going to get one decent shot off, and looks like uh, Bisu just immediately going to pull back here, going to lose one Dragoon on the retreat. Not serious, but looks like Jangbi actually is going to go back and harass the mineral only, but oh. four Dragoons are in position, they might get the shuttle here! Uh. <laughs> And Jangby uh. pushing the front at the same time with the Zealot leading in there, but um, Bisu has those four Zealots in the front, so he's going to be able to push back, um, for now at least. And I think... did he let... yeah, I think his, his um, third base must have finished by now. So he definitely wants to uh, keep control of that entrance area. And it looks like Jangby is uh, actually also uh, just taking his own mirror only. Just saw that go up on the, min uh, on the mini map. Observer is going to see this. And uh, Bisu should have his own Reaper's out uh, any second now because his uh, bay just finished. Um, so that will even the odds. And I think Bisu, just because he, he's ahead in bases too, he should be able to get Storm first, right? Uh, possibly. That's like, that would actually be very interesting to see if he just goes into Reaver since he has the Robo already or just switches straight into a. Uh, Archives. No, it looks like he has gotten a reaver zone. By the way, you're um to anybody, to all the viewers, like uh the reason I think why Exio keeps going a little bit robotic on the audio is actually pro on my end, because when your when your internet connection is not ideal, Skype's audio does become all weird. So I'm pretty sure that's my fault. Anyways, um, hmm. back to the game. Yeah, Bisu's first reaver's out. Um, I don't think it's a shuttle yet. And his expansion just finished, uh, quite a bit ahead of Jangbi's. Um, so I, I don't know if Jangbi's archives have started yet. His Citadel, I think, just finished last time we saw his main base, so he could sort of sacrifice gateway units to um, get Storm faster. We'll see. By the way, have you ever considered, like, is it possible to break down the back uh, power generator things with Reavers? Because obviously Reavers have a splash, right? Like, well, I'm the thing, yeah, the thing about Reavers is, like, I'm pretty sure it's 15 minerals per scarab, and 
I don't know if you'd want to, like, you might, you mean, it's only 15 minerals, right? It's not that much, but those shots kind of add up, so I yeah. don't know about using reavers to break something down. I think also because uh, it takes longer to rebuild the scarabs than the rate they shoot at, so you would end up, like, probably taking a long time. I don't know. Basically, I tried this once in a PvT. I, I built, like, a proxy robo. I made a reaver there, <laughs> and, like, tried to break down the back, and it failed horribly. So I guess there's good reason why pro gamers don't do it, but... I'm just like, in theory, it seems like it might work. Anyway. Mm. Bunch of gateways being added by both players. Uh, Bisu got a pretty nice supply lead, a 20 supply lead right now over Jangbi. And it uh, looks like we do see archives there. Did Bisu have an archives? I wasn't paying attention. I think he did, right? Oh, no, there it is, just now. Okay. Yep. Sorry, did you say Jangbi's archives are up already? Yes, they are. At the top of his base, looks like random ob's going to get sniped. Um, a couple of goons of Jangby just making sure that Reaver doesn't get a uh, free pass into the base. Oh, he's actually going to snipe an Observer as well. Oh, no, he's not going to get it! Uh, oh, yes, there we go. go. And I think, did the OBS see those Templar? Um, I think actually. it did, I think it did, but I mean, the, the tech is so close that as long as there's no major engagement in like the next 30 seconds or so, both players will have their storms up in time for the main battle. Um, it is quite yeah. kind of interesting that Jangby is Templar tech is up faster than Bisu's, even though he also got his Reaver tech up faster. Um, yeah. Yeah, he, well, he must have um, sort of cut on his gateway units in order to do that. Um, but I think the question here, too, is when do you take your next base? Um, it just feels like very risky. I mean, Bisu might try and sort of push out and take the middle of this map here and then expand. Um, or wait until after an engagement when he kind of pulls ahead, but wh what do you think? Like, when do you expand in this position? Um, basically, like, Reavers oh. and Storms are so good defensively, I feel like if you have your tech up, you can be quite greedy with your expansions in this matchup. And, ooh, look at this, is Bisu gonna see the hidden expansion? Go up the ramp! Come on! Oh! Yes! Oh! Busted! Get out of here, Jangbi. So Jangbi's hit oh. only doesn't work. He's going to snipe the shuttle, though. The shuttle, the shuttle goes oh. down. The Reavers do not get out. I, uh, presumably there were two Reavers there, but Jangbi's own Reavers are at the front and not the back. No, it looks like he barely saves that one in time, and his Reavers are going to do massive damage here. There are no Storms yet in this engagement. Jangbi actually went for two Archons instead of Storms. Jangbi, I think, is going to take this battle convincingly. He s loses one Reaver, but it doesn't matter. Bisu is down to only Dragoons. He's on the run. Bisu, who had the 20 supply lead, is now down on supply compared to Jangbi. Jangbi with a great engagement there. Oh my god, I cannot believe Bisu did not drop either of those Reavers. I mean, the, he had a good, you know, five seconds to click that Reaver portrait. It doesn't sound like a lot, but for a pro gamer, that is quite a bit. Although Jangbi now getting pushed back here. His Reaver oh. was not in position. Jangbi, what did you do? Wait, what? Yeah, Jangbi loses his own shuttle and Reaver now. And uh, more units flooding out of Bisu's base. A bunch of Zealots on the way to reinforce. And um, I don't know if Bisu's going to continue this attack. He just took his fourth base, so he might be content just to hold back a bit for now while he builds up his army again. I don't understand how that happened. It's like, it, you know, it, first we see uh, we see Jangbi like smashing Bisu's army, and then we go to the face shot, and then we come back, and Jangbi's army is just like almost dead. It's like what? <laughs> oh man! Well, I think uh, Bisu was able to snipe both of um, Jangbi's archons. Uh, with his dragoons, just by sort of cutting them back, and then once they were dead, he sort of pushed up again and caught Jangbi unaware and was managed to uh, to catch that shuttle. But, wow, um, that probe is actually taking out half the shields of the Nexus. That's insane. <laughs> oh really? Oh, that probe, man. Uh, could you imagine if the probe just killed the Nexus? Like Jangbi just forgot about it. Oh, he might get the probe though. Uh, it's got one shot. And just like a couple of Zelts of Bisu gonna being sent up there to uh, maybe harass the base a little bit, but Jangbi's army is in position to defend. Uh, and as you say, Bisu got his fourth base up there at the 9 o'clock. It feels a little bit risky maybe to take that expansion very close to uh, Jangbi's base. Very easy to storm drop that and whatnot. Um, and Jangbi, meanwhile, getting his own uh, gas base up at the 12 here. It's just finishing up now, but once that finishes up, he will have an extra mineral base over Bisu. That will let him uh, add on a couple extra gateways, maybe a few extra results as well. So, uh, yeah, I think things are looking okay now for Jangbi, even though earlier on he was uh, down a little bit, at least in supply-wise. 
Yeah, he was able to come back, and now he's actually ahead of BC in bases. He was able to get his fourth up faster, um, and now we might see a, a surge of units from him. We haven't really seen Storm come into play yet, but um, I expect by the next engagement, um, JNB will be able to uh, throw down a couple Storms, and I think he'll, he has a brief window where he's getting more gas than Bisu, so depending on when he attacks, he might have more gas-heavy units. Um, but it's probably not significant. Interestingly, both players seem to be just be only making Archons. Like, I still don't see any High Templar. And I think yeah, and both there's so many zealots. Yeah, and both continuing Reaver production as well. And oh my god, we're going to have a huge engagement here. Reaver's down for both players. Two Reavers for Bisu against the one of Jangby. I think Jangby got a slightly better arc here, but there's just too many units to really call this. It looks like Jangby Ooh. is breaking <laughs> through, though. Lots of zealots closing with the Dragoons of Bisu. Bisu's got a retreat here. Bisu on the run. Jangby taking another decisive victory, and that was actually significant. He kept most of his Archons alive. Bisu has lost all of his Gas-heavy Archons. The supply is still quite similar right now, but I do feel like uh, Jangby's supply is in much more, uh, you know, the techie units, the more expensive units, so definitely more valuable supply, shall we say. Look at that, he's still got five Archons coming out of that engagement. That is a huge win for Jangby. And yeah, that's, that's so scary. With all those Archons still alive... Um, I think Jangby mostly just lost Zealots, but it's important to note, I'm pretty sure Bisu saved both of his Reavers, and now he's going in to, to drop them into Jangby's base. Um, and we'll see if he gets a big Reaver. Oh, uh, doesn't get the could still off. do it. Oh, um, I think nice he might just be kidding, shot. attacking the cannons on purpose so they can just kill this base, but it looks like uh, the Reaver uh -huh. of Jangby coming in to save the day. By the way, I, I do want to note that it's really funny, because a while ago, actually, I think I was arguing with Keontae about this, because uh, I think there was an interview with Harangi, you know, the PvP master who said the actually the ideal unit composition in PvP is Zealot Archon Reaver with like a few huh. Dragoons supporting, and it's actually not to get that many High Templar. And I thought this was quite silly because, you know, Storms are really, really good, but, uh, oh! Beastu wasn't paying attention there. But I mean, I, get, I mean, clearly we're seeing here that I guess, you know, Zealot Archon Reaver is the way to go. Is that, was that like a fake drop? <laughs> he just like wiggled that shuttle's butt at the, uh, the probes there, but didn't actually drop anything. <laughs> Yeah, he was able to take up a nice group of probes um, at the nine or the, the twelve o'clock base by targeting the photon cannon, whether whether intentionally or not. But ended up losing the reaver, and um, you now his army's just short of reaver. So it's not good. Not looking good for these two. And I think the observer just showed us that uh, Jangby actually has two forges to Bisu's one. Is that is that what I was seeing there? It looks like this shuttle is trying to find a way out. Uh, I, I I think Jangby's still only at two o though, so I don't. His second forge hasn't been put to good use yet, but um, I think Bisu has two forges. Uh, oh, is it the other way around? Or I think so. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. They're both getting upgrades, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like one Eye Templar in Jangby's armies now. We might finally see a storm. Twenty minutes into a PvP, and our first storm ever. That'd be exciting. Yeah, this is a nice long PvP game. It's exactly what you want to see in this matchup. Indeed, indeed, no silly build order loss or win, uh, yep. which would be so sad to see like Jangby or Bisu get taken out by a build order. And looks like uh, Observer chasing Observer there, both players expanding yet again. Both players essentially maxed. It's going to come down to uh, the engagement angle, a little bit, a little bit of the army control. But in such large army groups, it's very difficult to to control like effectively as such. And, oh no, it looks like Jamie's going to get a couple of units caught out here, but this is just going to force the engagement. Two Reavers out, Ooh. three Reavers out for Jangby against the two of Bisu. It looks like Jangby saves both his Reavers from the Reaver shot of Bisu. Just so many units here, a huge shot going off here. Jangby is microing his Reavers a little bit more, but it looks like it actually has the reverse effect and causes him to retreat here. Uh, now he's going after Bisu's Reavers. It's going to be so close here. It looks like Jangby might be taking it. He's got the extra Archon as well. Oh. It's it's more or less an even exchange, although no, Bisu looks like he will win this time with both his Reavers intact, no less. And that puts Jangby in a pretty tricky position here with no Reavers of his own, no splash damage of his own. I still didn't see a Storm go off in that engagement, so I guess that Templar was just hanging around with no buddy to turn into an Archon with. Yeah, I thought that um, we definitely seen some, some Storms, but also Bisu was sort of pushing up that narrow little hallway. And I thought Jangby's Scarabs would just absolutely destroy his army, but they were caught back behind some Dragoons and... I think BC took the risk and put his Reavers a bit further forward than Jangby did, and it paid off. 
Interestingly though, Jangby still has a supply lead, 125 over 119. It's very, very slight, but he also has the base lead. He has uh, the extra mineral base compared to, uh, to Bisu. So uh, mm. he does have the slight income advantage as well. Although it looks like Bisu now shooting up in the supply. Now is overtaken Jangby in the supply. I mean, PvP, man. It is it is a nice edge. There is this you know, the the DPS in these big engagements when there's like reavers and storms going off everywhere, it's just it's just completely ridiculous. I mean, you know, it was words. PvP is just uh two players throwing and balanced shit at each other. That is like actually <laughs> what it is. That that's like a completely accurate description. Um sometimes, you know, battles can just go be ridiculously one sided, even if you're about even on supply. Yeah, it d does seem that way. Um, now, in this situation, is there any reason um, for either player to get any more tech? Like, I doubt they do it in this situation, but like, could it? Is it possible that a dark archon could like have some kind of um, you know big well, advantage in a battle or anything like that, or are they just gonna sort of keep what they have and just um, try and get the better in each encounter? I mean, we do occasionally see dark archons, but. Neither player is going Templar, so there's nothing to feedback. Uh, so, I mean, the only thing you could do is, like, Maelstrom a group of Zealots, which you could arguably say in this situation, given how high the Zealot count is, could be effective. But, yeah, without Templars to feedback, I think it'd be very unlikely for them to do that. Arbiter tech would be quite funny. Uh, you can get oh, just oh no! Oh my god, Jangby, huge blunder. Jangby has been, tr like, microing his Reavers way more than Bisu this whole game, and it's just been, like backfiring every single time. Like, Jangby, stop microing your Reavers, man. Just attack! Oh, God. Oh, man. I think he might be dead here. Bisu is rolling into the natural with 20 supply advantage. He's still got his two Reavers. A nice big shot goes off on both Reavers, though. Yep. Jangby's holding on with one more Reaver. Yeah, and I think the crux of each of these battles has been the shuttle snipes, because... We saw in the first one, Bisu lost his shuttle in the first engagement, and he immediately had to pull back. And then Jangby lost his, and Bisu got the advantage. So I think the pendulum swing back and forth is really dependent on uh, who is able to keep their shuttle alive. I just I can't believe Jangby has lost this. He looked really strong there after crushing Bisu like in two big engagements. Oh man. Just, yeah. Man, just uh, try too know. hard there, man. You know there is such a thing as trying too hard. Well, I, I think what happened is Bisu started being more aggressive with his Reavers um, a little while ago because he knew he had to sort of come back and start winning some engagements, and it paid off. Um, whereas Jangby was a he was microing his Reavers well, but I, th I don't think they ended up doing as much damage as Bisu's did. Um, I could be wrong though. Uh, I'm I'm really bummed about this game. Like, Changbi should have had this PVP. Man. No way, man! This is PVP is ridiculous. Oh yeah, you're the Bisu fanboy, man. Get out of here! <laughs> I'm, I am yeah, ejecting you from resilient. this cast. Uh, so sad. But there is a nice attack on the uh, nine o'clock base here, and it's gonna go down. There's a DT in there, and this Nexus is probably gonna go down fairly fast. Yeah. With the same attack going on at the uh, one o'clock base by Bisu. So it's going to be a pretty good base trade, um, well, and I don't really think JB can do anything to sort of cut back Beast's attack because he has two Reavers in there. I mean, um, Jangby lost his natural, his 12 o'clock, and now he's losing both his top right bases. He's going to have like only his back mineral only mining. So mm. yeah, he also that attack force that killed the nine. He also lost all the units from that. So he's pretty dead now. He's behind like 65 supply. Um, he is actually going to come in here and catch some of Bisu's units, though. He's going to catch. He, if he can catch these Reavers, that would be pretty huge. Although by this point, I don't think it actually matters anymore. But oh man, running up that ramp is going to be so brutal for him. Uh, he's going to take a lot of damage from the Reavers. That shuttle has like one hit on it, though. So I, uh, Jangby actually just, or Bisu can't actually run away with that. But look at that Reaver just doing massive damage. Oh my god. Yeah, it would have been nice if he had uh, been able to push in a bit sooner and caught Bisu. Um, better between the photon cannons at the base and his army going up the ramp, but uh, he ended up taking it out anyways. Wait a minute, Beast is actually only on effectively one mining base as well, so I Jangby, just noticed that, yeah. Jangby has like one mineral only plus a couple of extra mineral patches. He has his natural with no nexus, but like there's money there, he can distance mine it. And Bisu is a six o'clock, but Bisu has a fifty something supply advantage, so I he should don't expand. Think that I mean. Why not? Why not expand right now? Who, Bisu or Jangbi? 
Me too. Yeah, I think he can do whatever he wants. <laughs> he, I, I don't think he can lose from this point. Um, I mean, also, if you look at the army composition, um, it's only Zealots and Dragoons for Jang, but he has no tech units. Like, he has none yeah, of the Archons, Reavers, Templars that he really needs to do anything, so... Not only is he behind on supply, but he has, like, less valuable supply. Yep. Oh, some nice uh, river drops in the back of Beast's Oh man, there are so case. many clumped probes there. Why did he not get a shot off on the probes? Uh, I don't know. He might have. He might have um, killed some before the obs got there. But on the left side, though, there was so many clumped up on those left patches. Anyway, looks like he's taking the twelve o'clock here. And oh, he might catch Bisu uh, shuttle. Uh, and he gets uh, a shuttle. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> so close. <laughs> so Good close, Jangby. <laughs> Jangby. Jamie, please, oh, no, if, you can, if you can win this What's game, it? I swear I'll never cock block you again, man. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Oh, yeah, that's a great story. Um, oh, he's going in again. He's going in again. Nemo! Nemo! Just stop shooting the zealots, damn it. Why are you uh, shooting the zealots? Shoot the probes. Oh, he didn't take out that reaver. Huh. Shoot the probes. Shoot the probes. Leave a couple dragoons back there, honestly. <laughs> What are you doing? That would and take it that base. Would like you have the supply lead. It's it's a much safer decision just to take another base. Like he's not even trying to kill off Jangbi. I I, like, I don't. Dude, you're acting right? as if Beast is actually good at this game, man. Come on, come on. You need to start <laughs> looking at this game realistically, Sam. <laughs> oh, I oh, know. the probes! The probes are stacking! They're stacking! Uh, 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 oh, it's a dud. Yes. Ah. Uh, Holy. F Fuck, BC, just leave some dragoons back there. <laughs> oh, man, that's a nice... <laughs> Maybe it's so crazy. And oh, he's expansion. stacking them again! He's stacking them again! Oh, yes, Bisu, thank you, Bisu. <laughs> Bisu decided... Oh, no, there's a dragoon there. Uh, uh, <laughs> Bisu's, like, I trying as hard as he can like, to lose the game. What he's in this position, I think he's letting it slip away from him. He had such a big advantage, but his army's just sitting in the middle. <laughs> Doing nothing, and he's not expanding or harassing. Like, oh, oh shit, that is a lot of archons, though. That's like way too many archons, and there's four Templar there as well. Like, look, just compare the army compositions. Even if they supply, even if Jangbi was a little bit ahead on supply, I think he'd still lose a fight. It's because of all those archons. Yeah. Wait, where are those, Where the control. hell are those probes going? What on earth? Were they like dodging a drop? Um. I'm not sure. I just I'm not sure. That was weird. Anyway, oh my god. What wait, is that like eight high templar? Okay, that's a little bit too many. I don't think there's ever a time where you actually need uh, actually there might be seven, but oh god, no! No, the storms! The imbalance So much imbalance It's too much. Did he just storm his own Templar? Is that what just happened? Because I don't think Jangby has Templar, so that wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> Yeah, oh, and this is actually not attacking in a very good position at all. Oh my um, god, if Jangby wins this engagement, are you kidding me, Bisu? Bisu, uh, just, yeah, like, how can you even argue that Bisu's good at this game? Like, come on. Oh shit, oh god, that's probably a storm drop. Oh no, oh no, oh. storm! Or don't storm. Next storm the Nexus! <laughs> you know, you know what I'm Jangby's just so good, you know, letting his shuttles die to cannons, <laughs> storm the Nexus. It's, uh, he storms yeah. the Nexus! Yeah, I'll show that Nexus who's boss! <laughs> look, at, look at the SKT coach, he's like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> yeah. uh, this is such a good game! He's not even... <laughs> oh god! <laughs> this game, ah... Oh. Uh, look, looks like the, uh... I this. Where do you go from here? I feel like both players are just sort of dancing around, too scared to, to uh, overextend themselves. But Jangby does have the base advantage, and the six o'clock base is starting to mine out for Bisu, so the clock's running out on him. He has to he has to make some kind of decision soon, because Jangby can just sit back and drop. Storm! Oh no, he loses the shuttle. He tried to save the Templar, but he lost everything. Oh, looks like the Reavers are saved, though. But Jangby also has uh, two armor against the one armor of, uh, of Bisu, by the way. Mm. But... Oh, man. Oh. Jangby, he's, he's behind, like, 20 supply now, which is better than 50 supply, but the army compositions are still just brutal. I mean, 
Those two Reavers, Jangby needs to micro those two Reavers perfectly to have a chance against the Beast's army, or those Archons are just going to shred him. I just, I just want to see a nice fat storm land on both of them. God, that would be satisfying. No way, man, no way. Beast is about <laughs> to get jang banged here. Oh, uh, we'll this. see. Actually, the, uh, the 1 o'clock base is getting pretty low on minerals. Um, yeah, but the 12 o'clock is is I mean Jangby's on essentially two bases right now. Yeah, they're not full pat they're not full patch bases, but it's two bases against Beast's one. Jangby's just got to hold on a little bit longer, and he will be equal on supply. It will just come down to the uh, the the army compositions, which as I said, oh, but that's a great move. Yes, that is an excellent move. Although you shouldn't sacrifice your own high templar when you're doing that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he snipes a high templar. This is, this is so tense. At this point, each of these little engagements, losing like a High Templar here and there, it's it's no longer something you can sort of brush off. Yeah, um, well, I think what both players are trying to do there is like run up with a High Templar and storm like a bunch of clumped units on their opponent. That's a pretty common tactic in this matchup. Looks like we're going to have a huge engagement here. Jangby has a lot of Zealots closing with the Zealots. Those two Reavers for both players. A huge storm on both of Beast's Reavers. It looks like he Next saves them in the shuttle. Is it going to be enough? The five Archons are closing with everything. Another storm on Beast's Reavers. Is it going to be enough? One Reaver of Bisu survives. Bisu breaks through Jangby's army. Bisu has convincingly taken the engagement, and now the 12 o'clock is in trouble. There's only one cannon there. Jangby gets a Did few you zealots you out. See that sick control. Oh, picking those Reavers up right when the storm is on top of them. I think if he hadn't done that, the engagement would have been a lot closer. Beast is um, a locker and you know it. He's a locker. Oh, he loses the shuttle. He loses the shuttle. <laughs> yeah, and he might have overextended himself trying to get no. the card. He trapped himself. Oh, no, no he's, he's, he's just killed all the probes. It doesn't matter. He's up at 85 supply. Jangby's down to like 30 supply. This is over. Oh. It looks like it. Such yeah. a sick game. Yeah, this is like the best PvP of the year. Um, for the ones I've seen, anyway. I don't know, like, Stork versus Bisu was pretty good. And wait, didn't Cal play an epic game as well against Stork or something? I don't know. There were some good games, but yeah, this is definitely up there. This might actually be the longest, though. Either way, yeah. Jang B is completely dead. Well, it looks like he's going for... Oh, no. Might go for one last push or something. I don't think Jangby's no, he's not mining at all anymore. Yeah, and his army is just not gonna do anything. Um, he's <laughs> he's gonna distance mine from his natural. I can't believe he didn't take that. Actually, I forgot about that. Um, hmm. he might have had an opportunity um, in the past when he was sort of dropping reavers in the back of the six o'clock base to take his natural again. Um, that would be paying off right now, but. Yep, uh, we're now just waiting for Jangby to GG. I mean, Bisu, I, I think it's because Bisu doesn't actually realize how big of an advantage he has right now, or else he would just go and kill mm. him. He's just, he's still a little bit concerned, like he doesn't want to throw away the game in a silly fashion, so he's playing a little yeah. bit cautiously here, uh, which I think is perfectly fine, it's perfectly reasonable in this situation. I mean, he just, you know, struggled for 30 plus minutes against, uh, against Jangby, and uh, he's actually basically mined out, in fact. Um, with no signs of an expansion, but it doesn't matter. He can just win it with this army. Although nice, nah, ooh, ooh, decent storms takes out a Templar. Yeah. You know, I'm surprised. I thought that uh, Jangby, when he was on two bases compared to Bisu's one, would have um, a much bigger advantage in that final battle. But I guess Bisu's just, you know, able to do wonders on one base. Well, Bisu had the thing. I think the crucial <laughs> thing was Bisu had five Archons and Jangby had like one or something. Uh, and yeah. GG from Jangby, he knows he can't do it. Bisu takes game number one in My an boy. awesome PvP. What wow. a great way to start the series. Oh man, I hope the rest of the series lives up to that one. Damn. Even Bisu looks a little, uh, a little exhausted after that game. He knows, he was at some points there, man. He was uh, in trouble. Yeah. Oof. Did he get, did he just like did he just pat Bunky on the cheek? Hold on a minute. Okay. Wait a minute. Is there something going on here? Bisu x Bunky. I can just like see the fangirls drawing their dojins right now. Bisu on <laughs> Bunky Yaoi dojins. Oh god.
<laughs> anyway, hold on. Uh, give me two seconds. I need to go close my blinds, and I'll be right back. All right. Hmm. Yeah. So once again, he proved himself to be the best, best player in the world, basically. Taking down Jang Bi, who many say is the best Protoss right now, but is clearly, clearly not true. Still better than Bisu. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You ready for game number two? Uh, it's loading up right now. Ah, these YouTube ads. Sorry. Right, at least you're not uh, you're not buffering like I am. Uh.